Cells communicate by generating, transmitting, receiving, and responding to chemical signals. Communication can happen between cells at varying levels of distance. Some cells transmit messages through direct contact. Many types of cells in the immune system communicate in this way. The cells connect, a message is transmitted, and a response is elicited. Another example of communication by direct contact is plasmodesmata. These channels join plant cells together and allow materials, including messages, to move between cells. Some cells communicate over short distances, signaling local cells in the vicinity or within a tissue. An example of short distance communication includes the neurotransmitters that are secreted from one nerve cell to the next across a small gap found between the cells. When plant cells are under attack by viruses or fungi, local signaling can trigger an area of cell death to prevent spread of the disease. If you've ever seen brown spots on leaves, this might be what's going on. Morphogens are signaling molecules that regulate embryonic development. As morphogens diffuse through and are received by cells in local tissue, they regulate the development and location of specific cell types. Even bacteria use local signaling. Individual bacteria can coordinate activity as a group through quorum sensing. In quorum sensing, chemicals are secreted and received by bacteria in the colony to signal a particular function, like bioluminescence. Signals released by one cell type can also travel long distances to target other types of cells. Long distance communication includes hormone messages that travel through the bloodstream. Think of this as organ-to-organ -organ communication. Insulin is a hormone produced by cells in the pancreas that travels through the blood to target various cell types, such as muscle. Cells that receive insulin are signaled to take in glucose from the blood, thus reducing blood sugar levels. Estrogen and testosterone are hormones secreted by cells in reproductive organs. These chemicals target various tissues in the body to elicit many short-term responses and long-term changes. Whether through direct contact, short distances, or long distances, cells need to communicate by sending and receiving chemical messages.